So, um, one of the issues I was having with the Legion Go when it came to playing in first person mode was uh, the uh, key binding, as they call it. Um, like I said, I'm not big into the whole PC gaming uh, niche. I don't know, it, it, it's not in here. Is that it? No, that's my shit. Look in, look in your room. Close, close the door. No, everybody scream, no respect to the ex. No respect given. So, um, yeah, so, uh, when I heard about the first person, uh, mode for the Legion Go, I was very disappointed when I activated it and the buttons didn't automatically map to the buttons that were available on the left and right, uh, Go controllers. Now, upon some research, really trying to f figure this thing out, because there had to be a way, it's not an automatic mapping of the buttons, it really is per game. And yes, I have a few games here, and the games are quite different from each other with how they use the mouse. So I figure, let's explore this key mapping uh, thing together. All right, so the game we have here is Cyberpunk. Um, this was the game I complained about in my uh, a few days on the GoVid, that didn't allow me to press F to get into the doors. But at the time, I wasn't aware of exactly how you went about mapping the buttons to the vi ver various buttons on the Go controllers. Like this is the mouse controller, and this is the uh, left side controller. I don't know if you call it a mouse, just a regular Go controller, but it is what it, it, it is. Now, um. I don't really need to do much here, but I do want to see exactly how to go about getting F to work. If I can figure out F, I'll be very happy. So let's see. Uh, let me just find where F is. E R X T Z Y N H. So many different keyboard buttons. It it it, it would be kind of crazy to map all of these to the few buttons you have on the controllers. Oh, this is vehicle. Oh, no, this is vehicle. That's, where's F? F. So what I'm gonna do is press enter on the keyboard. Let's see if that does anything. Bind to key. And we did it. I bound it to, what, what do you call it? Mouse button three. That's this guy right here. It says press space to continue. I'm still not sure what button is space. I think space is this top button right here. All right, so here we, we have it. I do have my first person mode. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, I did this right. Press F to get in. Hmm. It appears it didn't work. Let's try this again. Settings. Keyboard bindings. Let's do that. Scroll down, scroll down. Cycle, weapon, cyber systems, vehicle. Exit vehicle, oh, we need enter vehicle. Hmm, something I didn't account for. Different buttons to, to get in and out.
Hmm. Primary int interaction, that's the one. So let's do this, press that, apply. Mouse over four. And let's go back to enter. We see that camera is mouse over four as well. Let's go into exit vehicle mouse over four. So that's there. Let's get out of here. And it works. As you see, I press mouse over, over, over four. Wait, how do I get out of this thing? I don't remember. Oh, you have to hold it. Gotcha. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, it, it does change what you set it to get in. So when you are playing your ROG ally in first person mode with the uh, Go controller set to mouse mode, you do need to go into the game itself and set it up beforehand. Uh, at first I was unaware of this, now I know. So now I, I can set the game how I want it to be played. Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, you hope you're here for me. Not today, Jackie, not today. Now the Night Witch is one of my favorite games. This is one of the first games I bought for my Steam Deck when I first got the devices. Um, it, it's still a mouse over point and shoot game, but not in the same vein as most first person games. Um, you move around your character, the mouse is your aimer, and you just go go to town. But as I did state before though, this game too needs uh, the, the, the keys to be binded to the mouse or in first person mode. So I did already begin this, but let's show you how it works with this one as well. Controls, so it's pretty much the same thing. And I think with most games, if they have the option for it, this is where you will find it. Uh, spell one, spell two, spell three, those are all linked to the direct, direct shinal keys. Uh, of course, action talk, same as F in uh, cyber, Cyberpunk, is mapped to this button here. And then you have all of these buttons as well that you can map things to. Let's put Guiding Gust to this button here. I'm not sure what button that is. This game, you simply click on it. It says listening and you press the button. Left control. That seems fine to me. Now, all of these can just actually, you can actually get into these right from the start menu. So I don't need an exact button just for those. But right. that is R. Okay, and we, sh we should be good. So as you can see the buttons that I need, I did bind. We have our map or the direction where to go. We have our instinct aim. We have our sword. We have our dash. So again, it's really, it, it really is up to you to decide The next game we'll mess with is a favorite of mine that I only recently got back into. Titanfall 2. If you've seen my videos, I, I've played this game every now and then in them. But again, this is about mapping the buttons or the keyboard buttons to the Go controllers of the Legion Go. So, 
I don't know how how to use shield. V, v to activate burst core. So you see that there's all 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 these buttons that I need to know, and I don't know any of them. So let's see, what does this do? Let's reload. Yeah, the buttons need to be in such a position that you can easily know where they are on your Go trollers. And there's so many buttons on this thing that to memorize exactly what was mapped where will take some time. But it's an effort worth putting time into to make the gaming experience that much better. Just press space. I don't know what space even is on this thing. Oh, space is still this button. Now here you see this thing has a bunch of buttons at the bottom. F1, G, Q. I don't think I have any of, of those mapped to this. Let's, let's see. No, those are none of them but it might be a smart thing to map those uh attacks to the direct direct shell pad um that's shoot that's aim that's punch that's reload so this up here does nothing this also does nothing this Here's my dash, this one right here. This is duck. The dash and duck, that makes perfect sense. But these two buttons aren't assigned to anything at all. So maybe, see what are these buttons uh, assigned to? Um, the top trigger is assigned to n n n nothing. Uh, this trigger here is shoot. This trigger here is aim. Makes perfect sense. This is punch. And right here, reload. All those buttons make sense to me. Um, so we need to give the top trigger a purpose. Both of these triggers on this side a, pur a purpose. The directional pad a purpose and also well these are dash and crouch so that's just fine so let's get into that key bindings you don't realize that what you need was there the entire time unless you know exactly what to look for so fire mouse one aim fire mouse two reload is r Reload should be at key. Let's see. Let's make that up. Oh, that's how you change guns. Okay, okay. My my bad. I'm actually not sure what else I need right now. Let's check those to see how those work. So you can see that it, it does take time to really know what you are doing when it comes to these things. Oh, that does that. Well, I messed up this one. We, we need to return to default and really go in and see exactly how we want to do this. So here we have Immortals of Avium. We're in a particular stage that I love the color but as I, I said before, this game does not run the best, even on the uh, Legion Go. I mean, I could uh, adjust these settings to run more smooth, but that's not what this particular video is about. Again, let's get into the binding and see what it's like to bind things on it in this game. Now, you go to your settings, you go to control, and here we have it. 
Now, this is another game where there are so many different buttons and button combinations that there is no way the first person mode of the Legion Go would be able to accommodate all these different buttons. Um, so you need to pick which ones work best f f for, for you. And in all truth, I do think this is one of those games best played with an Xbox controller or mouse and actual keyboard as opposed to the first person mode provided by the Legion Go. Simply because you, to, to do this, you would need to have your Go trollers at hand and also your keyboard as well. But there's just way too much going on. So to bind in this game, because as we've seen so far, each game does it differently. And I kind of like the way uh, they do it here, because they, they, they let you know what's what. For a example, uh, reload, let's just pick this. You press that, and when you press a key, oh, this already are. When you press a key, it actually tells you what that key is is if it's already assigned to a button and you can choose to reassign it or to cancel as opposed to games like Titanfall where they, they just say all right you bound this key make sure you change whatever whatever else or you reassign where that key was they don't let, they don't let you know what the key did just that it was somewhere else so with this one, it, it does give you that extra bit of information to let you decide, well, do I want it there or, or is that what that did? And so you know, because as you see, these buttons don't really tell you what is what. They're just kind of there. Like uh, the direction pad here, yes, it's one, two, three, four, but you won't know it's one, two, three, four until you actually uh, press or try and assign things to it. And with this game, no one does have one, two, three, four, but it has five and six as well. And these, of course, cannot be assigned to the D-pad, which is why with the Xbox controllers, they have an augment button, which pretty much, if I remember, I, th I think it was one, it was a top button. When you press the augment button, it, it allows you to hold that, and then it, it will change what the regular buttons do. Uh, I don't think there's a way to do that on the Legion Go controllers. Um, whatever button you press is simply whatever button you press because it does assume it's a keyboard. That's what it is. All the buttons are assigned to keyboard buttons and so the game itself does know that you are using one of these. It, it just thinks you're on the keyboard. There's no need to have an augment button on a keyboard. At least in most cases there isn't. So with this game uh, to keybind certain buttons, yes, you can do the more important ones that you want to have at the ready, but there's no way to bind th them all. So this really isn't a uh, game I would recommend trying to use the Go trollers by themselves with. I haven't played this game in so long and it's saying to continue. Now, though this is the first person mode, there are other games that you can use with this mouse go controller setup. Now, this is Gears Tactics. Now, I'm not a big fan of tac tactics games, not since uh, Shining Force 3 for the Sega Saturn so many years ago but just like the first person shooters you you can see how many different slots and bindings you can do to the mouse they do have the ability to set button combinations as a single but button press. There really, there really is a lot to, to go with. This might be just like a uh, Immortals of a Avium, one of those games that to try and do the key binding with so few buttons 
just may not be worth the time. Well, as you can see on the go, the button mapping or key binding as they call it needs to be set up per game. Uh, I guess I was under the wrong impression where uh, they would just have the go controllers set up when you switch to first person mode. I guess that's something for the developers to do with themselves. And with so many games out there, I can see why uh, they would leave it to the gamer to set up how they want it to do. But certain people don't want certain buttons in a certain place. That's just the way it goes. But so I guess it was a uh, folly on my part to think that it would be something as simple as that. To get what you want, it does take some work. And in this case, and as you see with things like Titanfall that have so many different button op options, it, it really does take time to really get in there and figure out what's, base, what's best. For you so with that said my name is ng the neon x and finally on this standing a bit more about the legion go and its first person mode and how to make the most of it this is what i'm into